Hey guys, as you know, I have been working with Todd and we've created our, our network. We're getting ready to start putting out videos. And today, today I'm doing some training here in Nashville with uh, one of my new technicians and you know, going through the contracts. I've done this multiple times, uh, hired independent contractors to work alongside me. And, and uh, that's how Todd, Todd and I started together and now we're partners. So there's a lot of things to consider like uh, non-compete agreements, non-solicitation agreements. There is uh, how to pay them. Uh, the system that we use works really, really well. Um, it also allows us to make more more money as, as a team, as multiple people working together. So if you want to know more about that, that's the kind of stuff that we're going to dig dig real deep in our Patreon, in our live webinars. That's members only kind of stuff. This is kind of I'm giving you kind of a big flyover. Um, you you want to be real careful. You, you really would probably not want to hire them as a, an employee. Um, you want to Technicians are usually independent contractors. And they usually thrive in that way better. Uh, also, it's much easier to run your company with those, uh, the paperwork. And it's uh, for small businesses, local businesses, unless you're going to have like 15 employees, unless you're going to really grow out, you're going to need payroll, you need all these things. But you can get in trouble with independent contractors. So it's, I'm not saying you got you to know the, the rules of your state and you got to know how you can pay them, what you can Tell them to do what they can do, what the freedom they have. They have more freedom, but then you also have less liability. Um, insurance, they have to have insurance as well. What kind of insurance? These things will probably, um, if you're interested in doing this, these are, join our Patreon. Go in the link below this video. I'm pointing in the link below. Go, go to our Patreon page, uh, patreon.com slash Apex Piano, and join. It's um, right now. It's very uh, inexpensive, and then you can ask specific questions, and we do our live webinars. You, you're invited to those special member-only Patreon member stuff. Um, but, yeah, we, we, we can cover all of those things for you, and what why I did it is because I had so much business on my own end that I was having a hard time getting to every client, and then I was, like, running around. And I've, I've met older piano technicians before, and they're just running in circles, and they look exhausted, and people tell me they just look like they're just scatterbrained. And I think it's because they're doing everything. And over the years, your business will grow. You'll become, you'll grow and grow and grow. And then pretty soon you're like, I, I just, you know, some of my friends, piano tuners have just quit and just left, like turned their phones off. Just, they're just tired of it. But they've left on the table a lot of money. And they have not got a system to pass on that company <clears throat> either. So the way our system works, you can pass it on. I can go on vacation for two weeks and Todd can keep going or vice versa. He can go on vacation and I can keep going. Uh, he, we work together in a, in a systematic group. The, my Nashville market, I can do regulations and my other tech can do tuning and we can switch back and forth and assist each other. So there's a lot to be said, but there is also a lot of danger in sharing clients and sharing business. There has to be there has to be a system in place to be able to do that. If not, it's just a disaster. And I think that's why most people don't do it. Most piano technicians work alone. And most piano technicians I've met seem a little bit lonely. They seem like they don't really have, they're kind of on their own. And if they get in trouble, they might have their local chapters or whatever. But th that can get hairy because your local, like your local piano technicians guild chapter, you're basically, those are your competitors. They can be your friends too, but... In business, they can also be your competitors. So it's kind of hard to share everything with people. Um, in fact, they can't even talk about money. They can't even talk about what they charge with each other. It breaks the rules of the PTG. So they can't even really legally in a meeting be talking about pricing and things like that. We can do whatever we want to. We can talk about uh, pricing. If you have a, a technician that you're working with as an independent contractor, you can talk about pricing all day. That's all we ever talk about is pricing, business, marketing, how to get more clients, how to make more money, how to be more efficient, how to run a business better. And two heads are better than one, three heads, four heads, maybe even better if you have a group of guys. If you're all working in uh, the apex model and you're all working together to make a lot of money, then it can work. If you're just willy-nilly sharing people's client, nobody, who owns the client list, who is there, are you competing against each other? Are you undercutting each other? These, these things don't happen in the model that we run, but it's, it's, 
you got to find some really loyal techs and you got to have the framework and the apex framework would work if you had loyal techs and you were really good at different things and you're working together um that's why i think the piano technician industry now is kind of discombobulated people this guy over here does this and this guy does this and we often get calls well this guy came over and did this and we had three people before we got to you and none of them fixed the problem and so you know, if you're working together as a team and you're really working on your best thing, I can call or talk and call, hey, I want you to go fix this, or hey, I, I couldn't get this right. Can you come over and as one company we can record, we can sort of make that happen? Whereas in we're working alone by yourself, very hard to make that kind of thing happen. So uh, I I encourage you to join Apex Piano uh, at apexpiano.com so you can start learning with us how we're doing this, how we structured it. I mean, um, we've I've, these contracts have been written over years, have been tested, and I love writing contracts, so it's fine. I like the business side of things. And there's uh, my next appointment, so God bless you guys. I'll see you on the flip side. Go to apexpiano.com.